Good day everyone, this is your channel sales and educational manager Hector Martinez coming at you live from Unique University and today we're actually going to be talking about DxO Optics Pro 9, the world's leading raw converter that's completely tailored to your hardware. Unlike any other image processing software, we're those mad scientists that actually study the physical hardware to provide you with a correction that unfortunately no one else can. So that being said, I'd actually like to take you for a tour of DxO Optics Pro, Optics Pro 9, show you the highlights and the strong points of the software and see if it's something that maybe you can adapt to your image um, processing workflow. So that being said, come on down and let's take a little tour. Right now, I'm actually gonna go down to my docking station, we're gonna launch Optics Pro. Optics Pro is the world's leading raw conversion um, software. It's a standalone application that can adapt to any host application. An image such as this one shot with a 5D Mark III and a 16 to 35 millimeter lens, we can clearly see it's underexposed by three stops. So what we're gonna do right now is we're actually just gonna recover the information. We're going to go into our exclusive patented tool, the DxO Smart Lighting tool. You'll only find this tool using DxO Optics Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the intensity slider and we're gradually just going to turn on the lights. Getting rid of things such as distortion is what got the company well known. Considering the fact that we can adapt to any different type of distortion factor, may it be with two different combinations, such as this one. This one was shot with a 1DS Mark II and a Sigma 15mm fisheye lens. We can clearly see that there's a tremendous amount of spherical distortion in the image. So we can easily go under optical corrections, select distortion, and it's gone. By default, DxO Optics Pro will correct for the four optical flaws. That's distortion, vignetting, chromatic aberration, and a unique feature that we only specialize in called DxO Lens Softness. Now, what made us famous was by far our denoising tool. We like to consider ourselves the kings of noise because unlike any other image processing software on the market, not only can we completely get rid of digital noise up to ISO level, shot over 100,000 ISO, we can also get rid of dead and hot pixels in an image while maintaining the sharpness uniformity. So that being said, what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna go all the way up on top under our essential tools and we're gonna select our noise reduction tool. We're gonna select our noise reduction tool, we're gonna select our new and improved prime feature, and we're gonna completely get rid of all that digital noise. I'm gonna go up to the upper toolbar, split it in half, just to give you a quick before and after so you can clearly see for yourself what was and what is. You can clearly see all the digital noise in the reds. You can clearly see that all the dead and hot pixels in the concrete have been removed. Not only that, most importantly, the sharpness uniformity has been uh, maintained. So our next important feature that I thought extremely stood out to me was by far highlights and shadow details. It's important to all photographers. So something such as this, complete, completely lost, we would probably trash out on an average day. But considering the fact that we're those mad scientists that know everything about the optics and sensors, we can easily go under our light and color advanced palette, go into our exclusive tool, which is our selective tone tool and we're going to recover all this information. Food for thought, just by utilizing your light and color advance and your essential tools will accommodate 90% of your workflow. So let's go into the selective tone tool which gives us the option of adjusting our highlights, our midtones, open up our shadows completely and then just drop down on those blacks. And then from here I'll let you decide what do you want to use as your background layer. There goes your compare. And there goes your image side by side. And we can even afford to adjust those shadows a little bit. There you go. So now we're just going to do a quick little overhaul of an image. Something that would probably take us about 20, 25 minutes in the average image processing software. It literally takes us under three minutes in Optics Pro. We're going to go into exposure compensation. We're going to switch over to center weight average to recover some shadow details. We're going to go into contrast and boost that up to about 30 points. Micro contrast to about 15. We're going to go into the DxO Smart Lighting tool and utilize one of the drop down menus to apply a fill. Go into color rendering under vibrancy to make that grass pop just a little bit. And then we're going to adjust the saturation by three points. Keep your main focus attention on the clouds because we're going to bring those back to life. So we're going to bring that up to about 50, the midtones to about 30, and we're going to bring the shadows to about 20 or so. 
and drop down on the blacks. We're going to go under color rendering and select camera body and the sensor type because we've actually created dedicated ICC profiles ahead of time in our laboratories. And then we're going to go into style toning and switch over to landscape mode. Just to give you a quick idea of where we were going and where we're at, this is where we started off and this is where we finished off in Optics Pro. So that being said, I'm your channel sales and educational manager here at DxO Labs. If you're looking for the most out of image processing software and you're looking for something that's completely tailored to your hardware, unlike any other image processing software on, in the world, there's only one solution for you. That's DxO Optics Pro, which can be located here at Unique Photo. So that being said, thank you so much. And until next time, I'll see you at a local trade show or at an event. Um, take care and keep shooting.